Ոգի սալմը բիտ խոյալաս, մի ու սալմը բիտ չույնս զվիլ պաստոմ հեպս, բոլկովնիկ Ստեպանի բեգլիս, ռոմելից կախլավտ ամերիկի սամխետրով ատաշի սակարտույալոշի, դա կաբտոն թամար կարոսանիձս, ռոմելից կախլավտ սամո� դղեսարիս ձալդիանը նիշունովովանի հոնիսի է բատա շեխոյդրա, ռոմելից էխեպա կալեպս Սամխետոս պերոշի, դա այս թավիս թավավդած նիշունովովանի է դա, ասյուարի նիշունովովանի իմ կոնտեկշի ռոմաշիս ես հոնիսի է իմարդեպա� կոնտեկստի արի շեմդեգի ադամիանիս ուպլեպատան կատետրամ, այդ ուղել ծլի ուրադ ատարեպ սխոլմ է դիտ շեխոտրեպի սերիաս կալեպիս ծինաղմդեք ծալադոբիս ծինաղմդեք ուտկատասը, դա հանսակութրեպ ուլի մատլուվամին է կատա ուղխադո համար գուրջիանս, չո ենց ասոցիրելու պրոպեսորս, ռոմելից կախլավտու ամկատը դրիս խեմծուղանելի, դա ռոմլիս ինիտիատիվաց հարի ռոգործ ես սերիա լեկցի է բիս, իսը կոնգրետովալդ ես շխոյդրամ։ Մարդլած շեսանիշնավ սակմեք էց տեպա ամիտ չվենտույս էլ էր սախամց պո ունիվերստեչի կալեպիս սինաղնեք ձալադովա, ձալիամ տկի ումնովուր դա նիշնովանի թեմա առամ խոլ իմ տեկուսում է տիտղիս գանմալովա� ավամաղլոտ տուշել էլ է ասեր իտքոս։ Հատ ումար իմ նիշնոլովանի դղիվանդելի թեմամ ամ կոնգրետ ուլի կոնտեկստիս թույս, իմի տոմրոմ արսեբոպ ստերեոտի բեբի իմի ստավոբազը թու ռարիս կալի սպերո դա ռարիս մամակացիս � Ես խատիարում այս ասոցիացիա շեից լեպա խովողթույս գամարդլ է բուլի արիկոս դա իստորի աշի չոն շեգուծ լիա բեվրի մագարիթի մովնախոտ կալի սարոնելից ալիան նիշունելովանի սամագալի թոդա շտամագունը բելի ռոլի իտամաշա Սամխետրոս պերոշի, դա մե ծոդախրսին գամախսեն դարոմ արսվովուս գամ գոլի պարալելիզմի ամերիկի սիստորիասա դա Սակարթոլոս իստորիան շորիս, մետուրամետը � Եբորա Սեմպսոնի խոլո Սակարդվելոշի մայած խնետելի։ Դա այսիկ ունեն կալեպի ռումլեմ մած առոյ իմիս գամրով մամատույս դակետ իլի խոլ Սամխետրուս պերո կադայից մեզ կացիս տանսաց մելի դա շեսապամիսատ ռոգուրծ � դա շեսաբամիսատ մի սրապ է բակալիսար ու գորճանս այամ պրովեսիս մի մար տրոմելիս առակալուլ ադիտ վլեբոդա խողտուս արսեպովտա դղես խատի է սիտուածի է շեից ուալա, դղես աղար արսեպովս, ուսատ չյուն վիցի տրոմ գենդոր � Դա ամիսի շեսանիշնավի մագալի թեպի ծխադիա գուակս Սամխետոս պերոշից, դա բոլկովնիկի բեգլի արիս ամիսի շեսանիշնավի մագալի թիտա, ալան մի խարիա, չոն դու դիտի բատևիա, ռոմ դղեսիս չոն տանարիս, մե մինդարոմ մ իստա շմ դեկ ադավուծը սիտխամ, դալի են շտամբիչ դավի բիոգրապիս ադամիանի ուպխաոս դղես դումրատ, մի ուկը վախսեներով միս արիս Սամխետրով ատաշը, Սակարթոյոլոշի, մասակուս զեգիս Սամագիստրո դիպլոմի գերմանուլ ենաշիր, այս չեմ պսպիրածասի ամունուվա, միտլուբերի կոլեջի դան, դա ասրոյս համագիստրով դիպլոմի բիզնեսը դա որգանիսացի ու ուսապտխոյ բիս մեջում սերես ունիվերստատի դան, իս արիս, իս մուշավ դա Սոպլիոշ 
ძალიან ბევრ სხვადასხვა ქვეყანაში ამერიკაში შეიძლება შეიძლება ისრაელში ჩეხეთში მონაწილეობდა სამხედრო საპოლიციო ოპერაციებში განსაკუთრებით აღსანიშნავია მისი საქმიანობა ერაყში და ოპერაციებში როგორც არის ერაყის თავისუფლება ერთ და ორი რაც ან შთამბეჭდავია რა საბურველია და მას აქვს ძალიან ბევრი სამხედრო ჯილდო და მედალი მიღებული და მისი სამსახურისთვის თუ მსახურებისთვის საქართველოს ქართულად for the service კარგად მებული არ გამოითქმის ასევე კიდევ ერთ ძალიან შთამბეჭდავი რამ არის და ამიტომაც დიდი სიამოვნებით ახლა გადავცემ სწორედ მას სიტყვას ეს with great pleasure that i am giving floor to you Thank you so much for uh inviting me today and I really appreciate uh, the honor of you uh showing up to uh hear this great panel. So I wanted to start with uh why military service is valuable to me and then also maybe translate that to what I see. So I had the opportunity as a defense attache to work very closely with uh the Minister of Defense, Minister Gary Bashvili, as well as the first deputy minister who is a woman, uh Ms. Chikavani and uh as well as the chief of defense and the the deputy chief of defense and uh and so i'm able to to also see how a lot of this stuff is relevant that i'm saying and applicable to the georgian uh defense forces so for opportunities for me the opportunities is the number one reason why i absolutely love to serve and i've continued to serve so i entered um our military academy it's called West Point it's the uh, it's the one when you graduate you go into the army we also have different military academies where you go to the air force and uh the navy but uh i entered at 18 years old and i've continued to serve i'm i'm currently 43 years old and i've been serving ever since so i i'm about at the 26 year mark so i you know i look back at pictures and now i have wrinkles and and gray hair i have to cover up so it's 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 been a incredible ride but with lots of opportunities uh you he mentioned a couple but i have um i've been able to live and been stationed in germany four times in israel in czech republic of course georgia which was has is an absolute highlight of my career right now and uh also i've been on several deployments you know several times to iraq and kosovo albania and also just the opportunity uh i'm in my third job where i'm the first woman uh I as a company commander so that's where you uh lead about 180 soldiers. I was the first I was the first woman as the uh as an airborne I was paratrooper where you jump out of airplanes. Um military police commander and then taking my company to Iraq to uh to combat and then as the first woman in Czech Republic as the office defense cooperation chief and then here in Georgia as the first uh woman defense attaché for the US i think for any defense attaché someone told me i'm not sure i don't know the other countries uh but definitely for the US uh but also i see those similar opportunities in Georgia if you talk to if you talk to the um uh, the members the soldiers the uniform personnel they'll tell you it's the opportunities that keep them in the the those of deployed to Iraq the deployments to Afghanistan the opportunities uh we right now the US we uh we provide money security assistance and there's opportunities to go back to the United States uh to Turkey to Germany uh to uh to, for education and training uh so there's a lot of similar opportunities that that I see here in Georgia as well and uh I think that for uh throughout my time in the military uh we've had and uh, I'm speaking the US and I mainly can speak army uh cuz that's what I am we have a very you know the in the United States we it's about 1 million strong force so it's it's very big so I have to keep my comments a lot to what I know which is which is the army uh but we have opened throughout my 26 years in uniform a lot of opportunities have been open for women and that is due to women fighting for that right and then also it's 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 two parts it's women fighting for their right and there has to be those women that uh there's a lot of first it's the first time they do something and there has to be those strong women they're my heroes that are willing to do that um but also there has to be the other side the the men that support it and uh what i found throughout my career is a lot of times the men that support it have been influenced by strong women in their lives uh 
they, they'll, say, they'll say to me, I had a strong mom, I had a very tough mom, or I had a tough sister. So you never know the influence that you're, you're by, being that, by being that pillar of strength that you're providing to uh, other leaders as well, both men and women. Uh, in the U.S., we've had women recently attend Ranger School and be Ranger School graduates. We've had uh, just recently opportunities open for women in our infantry and in our armored forces. And I, I just think it's so neat to see pictures. I, I have, uh, I'm in Facebook groups of women now that are infantry company commanders. And that, that's something that when I, was, when I was young, that would never have happened. So there, we're, there's still... Um, there's still, I think, in every country, room to improve and room, room to grow. And that's something that we're, we're still doing in the U.S. as well. And then um, the next opportunity, or next thing that I really value is the education. So I've been in now 26 years. With, with those 26 years, I've received a bachelor's degree, a bachelor's of science, three master's degrees, uh, one done completely in German, one done in Israel, and uh, another one done uh, through my military police role. And uh, I, I just don't know how many uh, opportunities you get where you get that much education on top of your professional military education. And that's something we've been working very closely with the Georgian Defense Forces of, of building the professional military education for both the officers and the non-commissioned officers. So your enlisted side and your officer side. Uh, in the Georgian Defense Forces, the professional military education side is a lot stronger for officers than the non-commissioned officers, but we are working to, an, 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 to, um, to help improve that on the NCO side as well. Uh, and I've, been in, I've spent a total of professional military education, I've spent a total of three and a half years in professional military education. Just, uh, just teaching uh, us about our, our profession and as well as uh, broadening opportunities, uh, learning different cultures, etc. And then finally, my, the third point I'd like to make is just uh, the leadership opportunities. Uh, there's not too many professions that I, I, you can find that you immediately, at age 21, are leading. I, I was immediately put in a, uh, in a leadership position of 30 people, of 30 soldiers, and then had the responsibility of deploying them twice. I depl as a, when I was leading 30 people as a platoon leader, I, I took them to Albania and Kosovo. And then when I had 100, 100, at 185 uh, soldiers and I took them to combat uh, to Iraq. That was my second year in Iraq. And uh, of those 185, I had 170 men and 15 women. And uh, which is, is a pretty um, a pretty heavy role. Uh, I unfortunately didn't bring everybody back. I uh, had one soldier killed by a sniper and I had uh, two severely injured by uh, roadside bombs. Uh, but I will tell you that as women, you are so incredibly strong that you, you don't even realize. Uh, you have the ability to multitask. Uh, what I found is women have the ability to multitask. They uh, are incredibly organized. And um, you lead differently. You don't, there's one thing that I have found, and I, I mentor young women, is that you don't have to choose to be like a man. Because... The way, the way women lead is different, but it's also very special and very needed. Um, and I'll tell you one quick example of Iraq. I was, it was our pre-deployment ceremony, and uh, we, were, uh, about, uh, we were about to leave uh, to head for one year in Iraq. And I had two mothers come up to me, and they said, I'm not comfortable with you taking my son to Iraq. And uh, I said, well, m you know, ma'am, you know, we've, we've worked really hard, we've trained really hard, and I will tell you I will do my absolute best to bring everybody home, to bring everyone back safely. And uh, that year in 2006 was a very, very tough year. If you follow Iraq at all, it was absolute, uh, for the United States, it was before our surge, before we added extra. During the, during the time of Ramadan, for example, my company was getting hit with five roadside bombs a day. We are we are constantly uh, under attack, and it, it was it was a very tough year. But throughout it all, every once a week, I sat down and wrote a five-page email to uh, the uh, family members. It was 2006, so before the time of social media. It was I basically had email. I had a distro list, and I had everybody give uh, me their moms' email addresses and their grandmas' email addresses, especially the the women. 
And, uh, and I wrote, and I just wrote, I, I, there's stuff that you can't write because of operational reasons that you can't, uh, that, would, that would hurt uh, operational security. But I just wrote, hey, someone, you know, so-and-so got promoted. Uh, someone did a great job. You know, I gave examples of, of funny things that would happen. And uh, at the end, when we had our, when we landed back at uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina, those same two moms came up to me and they're like, I am so sorry we said that before that year. Uh, because never before have we actually known our, uh, of what was going on in our, our families' lives. And it was just, for me, it was, or our soldiers' lives. For me, it was just a, it was a good example. Uh, it was a lesson learned for me to know that you do lead differently, and that's okay. Uh, and that we do, we just need, we do need women out there, and we need women part of the force. Um, and then the other just example that I really like about the military is that we are, we are a family. I see this in the Foreign Service as well, in the embassy environment. But the, uh, when soldiers go home, we typically don't think of that as that's the end of the workday. If there's, if there's someone suffering, if there's someone that needs... I mean, I, I've, I've seen where uh, we've all banded together and brought food to one another. Or if someone got uh, injured in combat, it didn't, it didn't just end when that person got injured in combat. The care, the care kept going. And uh, so for that, for those, we're, t we're taught that leadership is uh, the all-encompassing of a soldier, and I, I really appreciate that. So those are some brief comments. Extremely interesting and also very uh, candid and personal statement as well. It's very, very impressive. The demand of the other Polkovnik Beglesi, I'm sure you know it. Sorry, I'm sure. Personal or yes, sir. Um, sit quite bestuous. The actual mind that are more good. Not true. Any more. So the time I'm going to be looking at them. Captain Tamar Karosanidze, Roman Sukosuka Mugaksan, it's actual. Is Armosavle Dasavle Management is Institute is Samokalko Sazuga do bis project is Helm Zwaneli. Magram Sanam, so that am Funksi Daitsev Dais. Mushaobas and Mogvatsobas, Manam de Mas Didigam Stileba Konda, Machoris Tormet, Totmet, Slevis, Ganma Lobashi, Iho, Taudatus Ministers, Muad Gilem, Dam, Asseve, Mushaobda, Transparency International, She, Kartuata Sata Shoso Gamsura Lobaho, Asseve, NDI's Opis, Samokalako Program, Bisatuis, Tasha Samamisat, Talian Sainteresua, Miss. Perspective, the perspective of the Sakatu of Dana Hulikom, Rugoria, Kalibis, Ruli, Sam Hedros Perushan, Nahet, American perspective, the Gams could be only Gamut still a bit, casual bully perspective, Katase, then a house got Sakatoloshi, Ragamut, Bieda, Rogorim Gomareva, Amazal and Tisia Monavit, Mogosment, Captain Tamaris and Gismet. Zelen didi madlobat ardgeni suset, zelen didi madlobat hamarsro maku sashuale bat reskwen kesa uprot. Če mi gamot stile ba tavi dan varot kua, tavi dat su isperoši, usabt kove bi isperoši, kad cile bi čas godoli, a vidri čvani cina spekeriste. Zelen sa interesa, ko čem tu spira dat misim osmena. Kovol tu izgansa kutrapuli, tavi dat su atašaj bi kua da skuata šoris Ameriki dan, čvani sa kartološi. Imperio če roca me avi tavi dat su sa ministroši, orice bi skamalo baš i mašine, zelen argi tavi dat su atašaj u Ameriki dan, tom sa manj tu isur Polkovnik Begli opili o mašini mi daro, ara marto kalte sakit hrepšim, ko nijesko sakit hrepšit sam, kjer je v probe vrisa interesu sakom skakati tebe, še odzlepdit. Zogor, ta itko pala peri čem tu iz anu, sad gada vi kvetet mede tau da cvi spero, me ar var tau da cvi spero se eksperti, usab tko je bi spero se eksperti, ar cvi mašinu i gavi rodi sad tau vicre tau da cvi sam nistroši mušaoba, da je pirda pirvela, da je sad kot gender uli sakit kjer da tau da cvi spero čem tan, še mo vide mašinu rodi sad pirvela, da je sam sahuri, še mo mtava se sanu. Ta mi rekes da mi tkres, se so rjetes tormetic eli, o gah so tis periodi, xel uspleba. Še i cvala, mašini rak li alasani u tau da cvi ministri, zali en mo odlo dela čem tu is, da mi rekes da še mo mtava zesro, kam htari gavi tau da cvi ministri smo odgele. Da ciri ta da cvi erti mizez ih konda amas, Aseve gema soreba, tau da cvi sam ministro, mašin i tule podaro, ego olaze da huruli sam ministro, da ego zali en bevri, eđu ebi korupcijas tam da kao širebic da, 
Vimashindeli Ministries to his interest, so Chemigam of Silva, Sarta Sheriso, come to Rolo Bashi. The Sustata Corupsis in Amdek got Corupsis Riskabisham Sirebis could hit them, how the Samnistros come to Rolo Barocas Pilipo. Ak Amitum Gachta, Interesiro, got Memetan Absolot, how the Samnistro and the Tavitan, Talian Gamako, the Dalian Berry Picreda, Persro Picro, the Rats promets Picro, the Mitu Prometat, Nudio de Tascunam Dero, Arunda, Tautahmabodiam Positias. I mean, I'm told that we're going to do it. 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 We're going Sato Matara makes me repam gadat vatilibus to Gamomiva cargat Gavagzelep to our Gamomiva, where I've been where Damazalep so dark chain as a cut Aruviko, Aromatabelli ministries, Mod Gileda, Akedan died from a Chemit Hanam Shon, but how does this some minister stand? Kultpeli Robiko, Kalta Sakit Habit, how does Perusha are you or Tatipirelli Sakit Hirat movie kit her of the Sakit Miveti? Ramd Gomario Bam, Hru Trentan, got some Ramdenet Hari that's really Kalabisu Plebebi and Samo Kalakonet Lushi and San Pedro Sperish. Are you or Tatipirelli Sakit Hit? Tumta, Ramdeni Mequira Shiuque, Amazetro Dabsu Kitwa, Mitres Kahare Bulemaro, Ki Trentan are your tickets with some Temaze Mushops. The Mozab necessary to cut seven tracks a cale be supleb of the San Pedro Sperishi Musha of the Armuch Taris are here, Timartler Tia Damiani, Visisahil the Guarit Marso Sehla, Romel Saitashoris or Tier to Babis Department Chimusha of them. Then not quite imprecrept Sarkale besides Saitashoris Department, Esadamiani, Caleb the Musha, but Daiva, Imitor Gargo, while the Bulebe beside the Shoris or Konda, Arabul, or Caleb Supleb, and Dagwitz or San Pedro Sperishi, Ragatsaro, Quit Quim, Trenu, Holy Partner, or Bistris Rom Musha. استن و از از بیچی مشاهده دام تم از اون کارگی خویش رو از ادامیان یا همچنین تجلیان نشدی. پاتیوسانی مندم بولیده بهوری از هک میکنه گاه کته بولی. ام کوتخت. بهوری را گذاشت کند. مکلولی آل بات بهور ترینینگ زد از فریسا شوالی بات کند. راست چونی از خویلی پارتنر به آل دیسکو تازه زبان. تا ای سام سهشین آل داره ولی به سام مشاهده کند. شش رول بولی نو ایدیالوری. یار پریاراری مگر میدیالور تن اخلص. اون تن ایسایی خود. زن داد روزون اسایی. تای مرد آم مشاهده داره. بیت رو دستیک نباغ زم. مرد ل ایسرتیکات. ام کات سبرم تلیانه تای است هما. تا دو تا سامنیس روشی. اون تن ای خانه خانه ایسرتیک آدمیانی تسک ماریسیا ویسات راغت سامو کل بات. هشی نو داره ولی باعث شش شش رول بولی رو داغ خم ماروس رو پیروی نبی جابی کرد. کد پیروی نبی جابی است کد. ما اوقات آوری تست هدف میاد لیس آبریلشی. ما با دوری تصور می‌تونیم سعی کنیم که پیروزی کرد گندرول تنها از اروپا استراتژی دام کی تا ماشین مینیستر ما، اما از مخو گندرولی چه ول بیس دانش نت شاید شاید اگر بود زالب شده آکات برای ویکوت خب بالام دکاست نلبی اند که گندرولی اما چه ول بیاری کل نادامیانه بیفینس کارگر تیر کوئد کوئد نگه دارو ساکت خب شد سپس نر بود آدمیانه بیفینس از ساک مدای ولاد دمیری سه چیزی کارو تیتون کار کوئدی کنن رای خویس گندرولی تنها از اروپا در راست نیش نه بیک راحت پیوی از نلی و پیدا بکه پول نه دامی اریم از کالا پریت شده تو برالود از پنکسی استامات بچرد بودم میشم شا وقت ارس رو ساکم کارگر چه اس رو لب نیا تون سعی سه تی دوی پیکرت رو اس تی تانم دو بام اوندا کاش نلی خوش یا راگ بود جالب شی کارگر ولی از پلیتیکولی که نت خدیت سی قرار است هجی رو آره اس تی پوزیسی آرس بود دست میره چه قدر رسوسی مشیر رو مات میتی کای کت هم که اندرو ساکت خب زده نل نلا دایت خود سه وی انتی پنکسی شه اس رو لب ایسه رکورد زنده اس رو لب دست همس که اندرو لیم چه ولی دا آکات گامچ تا کاله بیم کاماره و برگوری خو سام خدرا شهر را بود جالب شی چه ولی روی خو سکوت سام خدرا سپر شی صد بس اول تو سکت زنده دیم نشنا و با خورا سام خدرا صد باکس دا تو گند دارم مقالی صد بیست دمیانه بی قبلی خونه شد در بید کند رو لیم چه ولی بی قطع بیوند داد و نشن نمی ترک کاله بی صد بیس مخرب پیوری مقالی صد بیس کنه کاله شهر را بود جالب شی آرکو بوده آمیتام دای نشن قطع بی تون تا ایم سات بیکرب دیت رو کالب شیل با اپروگاو ادول دید کالب تن میشود تو راغت سه چیواریا پریم اوت سه دام نشنت اوروری گندرولیم چه ولی کالیدا کاتید رومال تن از کادوی پیکرتر ارد صد با اوت سه صد بیسم خیلی راغت سه داوالی با شیل با اپروگا ارگت شیاس رولس میتاد ماوس میان 
Magram Kalim Chevel said, is Ponsia Knebaro, Kaleb Tan, Communicatio, Pro Adulik, never missed Twista, Save, Kalebu Sik, never must an Adulic Communicatio. Um, Esiko de Shem de Gasset, how to Sakademia Shan, Savle Bebshi, Gachinda, Eskenderulit, Hanas or Bis Tema, um, Quad Missia, Shit Amstrali, Sam Hadramo Sam Sahure, Bistus, how to Sakademia Shevida is Tema, uh, Programmashi Kurikulum Shida, Training Gabis, Chatareba, David, Kenderulit, Hanas or Bis Sakit Hebda, is Twisat, um, Kalebi Sakit. خبزه ما مشاوی هر سمت را با ارگانیزاتی بی موجود شد. ما تخم و تماشی دخمه را با. آرایت است تخم تازه. مینیستر شهید سوال مواد گله بی شهید سوال دن کاخ سو تینا خیده شلی کاخ دم مینیستری دا داد کارو میشم دک. آمی مرتول بی نام دولت کاخت اور دم مشاو با. او که تی استراتژیات موامزدس لیتسو میارد سو بسام خدرو لیتسو میشه داد فلوت بیچه بیستوی سی خویه دا گونه بیستوی سات کاموت خدس میره با ام لیتسو میشه د. سخو مرد تینا که داشتی چهیت سواله، دم اخب سیلو بدی رو مرتالی که تقدار بوده، اونه بدالی نکت رو داده خطوال قرصام خیلی ولگوری کو کماری و بات هدایت سامس رشت، تون سه تو داغو گلاد نخواهد رو اخلاق کوی از کاله بیست همه چت، اما نویمبرشی که اندرو لیتال دو بیست هکس مدت غیر واری خواهم داد، مارتشی رو تر و مارتیاری در غذا نیوز بیام از اندکا شده بید، ام تاریخ بسیم خواه خواهم او پرومیت ات تون سه استراتژی آر سبب تو چه ولی بیدرس هت آر سبب بنده راحت میمرد تو لبی تمازه مکاد من سریس مواد گلیس کانس خدا بسات رام دنیم از شوخدید از آن دسیمات لیاری سیس رو ماشین از رو تمه وی قابل سامن است روش رو تاتی نه از آن دام آخلت ام تمازه ماینس سایچ رو کانس خدا بیده کام اصلا بیاری کال بیس کان تا و دتفیس پروشی میکند کال من سریس مواد گلیس لابرا کبدی تمازه همیشه شم دک خرخی داشت توی تون کالی قدرت کارگی قرار من سری لابرا کبد آخلت او پرو میاد کال بی لابرا کبد نام تمازه تا و دتفیس پروشی بیدره ات کدوم کاتی من سری بیان سوا مقال تام دو بیس پیرا بیته دت سامن درخت سر به بیچه ما تو ایران کان خورد سال دهم تا نه که ما اون دایه خم دگمی خرده بود در امید که آرو سطح پوزیتیو ریشه دگه بیگوپ تالی انجام اونجا بستم دگم آریو با مگر ما آرتی ایسه ریال وریم دگم آریو با آریسی سریتیت مگر کوت لاتای سر تشری سواری نزد ما و ما خوبی دخالت می آورد استاتیستیک اورد شد برایشان تمام دیاری شیار را خوبی زاله بیشان سام خد رو کالی آنورا و دو نبرد و تو که تصمیم دادم ماریو باقی کودره به اون ناتو سر که آن نس مگرم ماتشوریس مگرم تو دبپس تو شب خدا و تو کویام کاله بیست اتحاد نمده با دبپس ای کوکو نگات سلی بی تو پرنسی من سرعتیه امیدارم رکورد شدی جرات خاله در تی بال کامنی کی کالی خواب سرام دنی می بیت بال کامنی کده زیت ها تاریا نای دیگه بی سرچان تبی کابرال بیانو پرو دبالی تو دب آکت کاله بیست در اتحاد نمده ایش هرالی کاله بیست برالی دم ما امازه آوریت مرکیت خواب است و پیش رسته خب پیروی در آور تا وی کجای میکام اصولیت هرالی از کاله بیست برالی و پرو مدت تاریم کاریم از برالی رات یک خدمت کالب است. از چه ایست داد که آنها پروسه تیورد. خب پاتریال کالوری دارد که ما اون دو تا و دو تیسپر واری پاتریال کالوری که در اقتصاد ناتیلی هم دید پاتریال کالوری سه زوجه دوی باشیده. آرایی تولی کالب است. ویس سام خدروس پروشی دارد. این تسلط دارم کاریاریس کانوی تاریب داد. چه می مورد لیانی مشابه است. پریودی رات آرایی دیدی. ایس اول داوست رو لیس ورد لیانی پریودی رو آرایت کرد. چه پیش از رو ایک حالت آنو تام را سام بود. چون تام بر می خواهد داد که این دارویی تان است اروپا ارگو است اوله با مسیتیان دراوک نه خمر و کالی سام خدرو کامام خوب با گویی زمیر ایما زبی پیکرویس را گرد داوید سو تو چه مسک مسمی و خد و آن وسیتی کامنت آره بیاره جرم میذه یارو مسمی نه مرد راحت ترینینگ بیست روز سه روز سه لابد آره کبدی ترکین دارویی تان است اروپا زه گواک ترینینگی راحت آر مسیتی چه میمچ نبیاد حالا بیست کادت ریالی با راحت پریودی است ماتو خود دم اگر مرد پیکرو اتا هم از پریودی آرند میدار د کارگی خویش کارگی آریسی است. همون دو سپروشی رو از سری زن یه رکی ولی سپر خود تو گاوس را گذاشت. هنام دبوا با مودیان گیسمنن تا گیسمنن بولم تی. آنوارا من هرات که بده گاوا ایمی تارو است. همه هرای اینترنت. سپس توی پیکر رو از کارگی سرشوال بایی کارو کامو میگن بینه است. را گرس کرد من داغت هنام دبوا بیست پیش. همون دو سپروشی تا به اورا آدمیان تان سام خدروستان کوی ساوبرا آرام 
خالد این مزد که کالیس روزه شیار قبول زاله بشاره مت زوجات گندر اوت هنست آره باز امید داره خم منم دم ارسام تارو با ارگانیزاسیاش مشاهد داره ارسام تارو با ارگانیزاسی با قوت ویژه ارد سوده بیتی مادامیانه بس پیو رادامیانس که ویستانه هم تم بذار سنتالیان نشون وانده ساین داره سوده ساجر و لباره گیدا شیار قبول زاله بشی کتالیان پیو ریسام خدروایی بس خدا سخو رگیون دیگه بس خدا سخو خالا کی دنده تادوس مینیستریس موادی که لطورا قطع ترینگ سات آره پن لکسیاس تو کیت خلوب مودیان امروز باز من اکسپرت بیام که توی سانم سال سال تارو پرگانیزه تو که اوب نیبیان که دو دقت داده ولی باسایی تو استرینی که دامن دایس رو استر بی بالام داده بی پیکر رو کام مکو اگر بینا از کار پولت زد سوم چه سات ربلو پارو کویلا پارا کب شد لبی استقرار میتی ام ساکت خب زد تون سه صد اوت ناوری قیس رو عرض سمت رو بارگانیت از صد صد ویت وری تام تماس لب پارا کس هزار سال پارا کرد ماتد سعیت او کل دات رو زوجیر ترا رو ایسا شهر قبل زالب شه خال تا ساکت خب زد پیرو لی قب وری مات کنید فیس اما زرو ایلا پارا کرد تون سه همیش میمارت اینترسی مو پر داو پر کایزر تا دن پولس برادر ویت خود رو ایلا پیرو لی آرگومنتی آری خوامی آکه دان عمر اولی سباعی است. ایتالیان زد پیرولی دا رقت دان خم رو بناره وی آرگومنت بی خال ساد شیر اگر بذاره بشه مات رو خال بیش روزه ارثی کوادرسات فیت قدری است. رای نبیس میر آرگومنت بولم داره میخوای دار ای رقت رقت نورم در وار میبی قدر رو اسیسیان و چون تنها کارت ولش اسیسیان شیر اگر بذاره بس تاسوس تا خال بیشی کوب نام اسیت آرگومنت بس رو میخوای آره پرید داد و خال اس رو پس خو خواهد زیاری سر باز کنترل کمیته دا بالو سپرال و تاره پریار در چه با تون داد سیکی دان رو داویت قطرم شیر را قبول زال بید درس سام خدرو سعی کنیم آرایی پیزیک قبول زال زد آپوت نبودید درس آرگوکس اوم بیست این خیلی چرت ولی رو تا شو به بیت خم لبیت وابسته ترت من از دیگر بهوری تیپیس اون آریده شست از قبل باری ساجیرو را تساقط کالیپس دا امیس ما کالیت هبیت بالکونیک ما درس انگار کی مایت آن را دادم تا بیتی توی سبب بیت اون آریده چه اوت لیت کالیپس شهر را قبل زاره بیس کات لیره بادا آره بیت هشم تو خوشی رو دست است باست را قطع میس مطخونه بیست کالیپیکاتی شم سیره با یک نباس ساجیرو کالیپس رو خب میداد کاوس نشیر را قبل زالبش مطلب Zalian satu, zalian am saya intereso, zalian kritikuli, kargi azat kritikuli cakap dia, mungkin saya bisa tulis. I think these two actual presentations were very interesting together because they provided perspective on different countries, but also different perspectives, different takes on the similar subject. And before opening the floor to the public, I would like to ask one question to each of you. So specifically, what do you think uh, two or three main challenges are confronting women in military in the United States and in Georgia? Could you just kind of uh, um, uh, say a couple of words about this? I actually have that prepared. <laughs> <laughs> So for challenges as a woman in the military, I, I honestly think it covers almost a lot of different countries as well. But uh, the challenges I've faced, my number one is having to prove yourself in absolutely every job. For a man walking into the exact same job, they'll automatically take his word for it, they'll automatically take his, his biography, his experience, but as a woman still to this day, when I walk into a job, you, you have to prove yourself, uh, despite what your, how impressive a biography may sound. And I'll tell you, it's been my same experience here in Georgia. I have found that I absolutely should wear my uniform, or sometimes I have the opportunity to maybe wear a business suit. It's way better if I wear my uniform to an event. And I, when I first got here, I started uh, sometimes taking people with me just for the experience of, of uh, with our great relationship between the United States and Georgia. We have a very great strategic relationship, which means uh, we have very special access that we don't normally have in other countries. Go to, just next door to Armenia, it's a completely different story. Uh, but I would, you know, just for mentorship of, of my younger officers that, 
that uh, work with me, I'd like to bring one along. But if I bring a male along, a lot of times they'll automatically start talking to the male. And I'm like, hey, I'm over here. You know? <laughs> and uh, so I have found that it actually works better if I show up in uniform and alone, that I get a lot more accomplished in that meeting. So there's still challenges of having to prove yourself. I, um, you know, throughout my, throughout my career, I've been told that I'm too aggressive, that I'm too assertive. Uh, I act like I'm too smart. Uh, name a time when they ever told a man that he's too smart. Um, I, I think that what, what has, I, the, the list goes on, uh, uh, but the uh, challenge is always one to, I don't know how it translates, but to make sure you've got thick skin, that you are able to uh, take, uh, if it's constructive criticism, it's good. Take that constructive criticism in and you know, seek self-improvement and improve yourself. But if it's criticism for the sake that you're a woman, be able to let that just go. And that's always been a challenge for me. And to be honest, it's been sometimes exhausting. In combat, in Iraq was probably my most tired time I've ever been because I worked, uh, my company was working in eight different infantry battalions uh, areas of operation. And I was dealing with all men all the time. And having to prove yourself every time in combat was exhausting to the point where I almost got out of the military. I was so, I was so tired. And uh, what saved me was that they gave me an offer to go teach at our military academy. And I went and taught German at our military academy. And it was in time for me to just to be able to uh, just see a different perspective and to help mentor young cadets. So I did that for a couple of years and then got back into the things. The next challenge that I find that's very, very difficult is uh, balancing a military career and a family. It's, it's quite frankly the reason military women get out. You see a lot of... Uh, I've never, for example, I've never had a, a military uh, female mentor, a woman mentor. I've never had somebody that I can call, that I can talk, that I can talk to, that I can ask questions about, that can give me, that can give me advice about how I balance a military, uh, military career and uh, family. So I, that's why I, I take it. I take. Uh, I have a WhatsApp group, for example, of young women that are in my career field that, I, that I'm just there for because I feel like it's so important to help build women up to be able to encourage them because that's the only way we're going to be able to continually rise throughout the ranks if they, you provide that encouragement and that, and that uh, building each other up. Uh, but for me, I have a daughter. I have a four-year-old daughter. I, I started very late in life and having a family. But I'm, I'm, I'm constantly racked with mom guilt of spending time with her, of, of how I balance a family uh, and a career. And uh, I think that is, is one of the toughest challenges. And that is the absolute number one reason if you talk to the, these very, very talented and educated women of why they leave the service. So it's something that we can absolutely do better in the US military. And I've talked to, uh, I just recently talked to our senior, what I, from what I do in my career field, our senior, um, our senior officer is currently the defense attache in Moscow. He's a, he's a general. And uh, he talked to me, he wanted to talk to me about how I see things. And I, I told him, I said, uh, you know, there's all of three of us right now at the senior level. And one is about to retire, and there's one, one of us, uh, there's one other, one of us, uh, she's in Turkey, working in Turkey. And uh, I said, one of the big things that these young women are, you know, what they asked me about, number one is, ma'am, when can I have a baby? When can I have a family? What job can I go to where I have a family? And I, I think we can just do better. We, in the U.S. military, we can do better about men and women have to do better about talking to these, uh, these younger women coming up through the ranks about when they could, because it's important. They want to have a family and to be able to encourage them that it's okay that you go to a job and have a family and, ha and have a baby. And he says to me, the general says to me, and I love him to death. I've known him for a long time. He says to me, I don't know that people are comfortable talking about that. And I said, that's my exact point is that we've got to get to that. We've got to get to with the majority of the leadership are all I was like name a woman leader right now at, at your level there's not one and we've got to get to the point where men are also comfortable talking and giving giving advice to uh, these young women about when they can have a family and how they can negotiate having a family and a career at the same time so well thank you very, very much thank you very much very enlightening and illuminating Tamar 
Thank <laughs> Didi matlo bazalian da axla mindaro miutse sashay sashwale ba shay saudi toriya som shaykit khodasot shaykit khodasot English lo shaykit khodasot Kartula da shay sanishna tarjumani khaus da German lo da shaykit khodim tor German lo is professor eko shay sabamisa da shay sabamisa khod tarz mona buliwan eje diori sa intereso moksan e bismare ek shaykit khodim ekne mat dia. Magasalma bit kartlo da usav shek itxas dar tamar sets minda miumarto mez armovat gen platformas kale bi sakarto alodan chen arayt xal qolia chat zareli siti kale bi romle bit sest maskulinus pero ebshi magat zaben ma choris ham xedros pero shit hazgaus pero shit politika shit minda ram politika sets minda rader tsip trezegan xilo minda ram bistuat maskulinus pero et moi azrebada rati shek itxa minda ori ves tan da usat praktik. Ori vam zalia namum zorawat kaj cit pasu kabi im shakit hobze as tauda pirovat m konda. Tko ni gamut stile bis še seba misat rogor hedja v drari skamo savali am kot hedim drari skho me saubarirom. Kale bi zalia hšira ta ja maskulinur metodeps itu seben rad praktikovat pet sulis garemo si mi tamorom. Ацепт калепсац уцепт кацебивит мокмедеба, тумцевт кат арц феруебис феминизациис момхреби ар ариан. Ай ам кутхи гамосавалс раши хедавт. Упро метат вткват имаши хомара ром критикули маса унда шеикмнас. Да эс критикули маса дайхмареба зустат калепс ром исини кацебивит ки ар му икцен ар эмет тависи културац шеитанон да шесаба миса да эс рагаца маскулинури култура ром элс дам кудребули ай ам конкрет Tos pero je při politika se za sebe moví a zřeb sam chodil jsem pero zgoerdit, rom se za sebe mizet uprochel mi se za sebe gachtes medikali, stojí se medikali a rychlo stáší nebyli jsem pero si musel slovat, má to ba. Kritikuli masi šek na ikne bodo kolaze karki, rád klanda magra mali salba zalien rtuli. Me pikro prom sad bis etapze alba trade, chad sad bis etapze vart am mertule bit. Konjero sazuga do je bi smetim har da čera čirdeba eset kaleb sa jehla mero vam bodo jero. Tav da dospero širo od silo bitru vam temem se kako jak te urebi na give ara sam torebo sektori. Ceha, ara sam torebo sektori si goj se tamo kde bolo ba, ce argu es mi se skarga tav da cviste sam hadro spero. Ara peri zalijan gan se kutrovi, tav da cviste sam hadro spero za treningem sa ravi narit hod da ik vid hodit kot raga ca še hodreb sa ubreb s kalta sakit hrebze, gender ulitane storebi sakit hrebze. Da, ajam kut hipco da upromet 
საერთო შეაწუხოს სამოქალაქო საზოგადოება თავდაცვის სისტემა და სფერო არ იქნებოდა ცუდი და სამოქალაქო საზოგადოებაში არ გულისხმობ მხოლოდ აი ფორმალიზებულ არასამთავრობო სექტორს ზოგადად საზოგადოება მაც რო ამაზე მეტი კითხვა დასვას ალბათ უფრო მეტად ბაღაცა ვაიძულებდით აი თავდაცვის სფეროს მაღალი თანამდებობის პირებს ან სხვებს რომ მარტო თქვა ნატოში კი არა გზავნონ ანგარიშები იმაზე რას ვაკეთებთ იმისთვის რომ ქალები უფრო წარმატებულები იყვნენ თავდაცვის სისტემაში არამედ ჩვენ თვისაც ჩვენ თანაც კონდე ამ კითხვებზე უფრო მეტად პასუხები გასაცემი ვიდრე დღეს აქვთ აი პარლამენტშიც რომ კონდე ჩვენ ერთხელ მისულები ვიყავით რომ ანგარიში წარგოდგინა ერთმა და ერთადერთმა ადამიანმა დასვა კითხვა აი ქალების დაყოფით 3-4 საათ გაგრძელდა მაშინ კითხვების დასმა მინისტრები და მოადგილეებისთვის და ერთადერთი კითხვა იყო ქალებთან დაკავშირებით გუგული მაღრაცემ დასვა მაშინ ეს შეკითხვა იმიტომ გენდერული საბჭოს წევრი იყო და იკითხა ამ ხრივ რა მდგომარეობა არის ხო ეს არავის არავითარი კითხვა ამაზე არ გაჩენია my first thought is is recruit uh one thing that i have seen working with the georgian defense forces is the recruitment is aimed at men and uh the one talking point i continually make is if you're if you're not making your recruitment numbers and you're not making your retention numbers and you're missing half your society you need to absolutely start including women especially you know the right now ministry of defense is establishing the national guard women are not in the national guard right now if you look at people coming in it's all men and uh if they it it's hard for me to hear that you're having recruitment issues when you also are maybe not including half your population so i i think it's i think it's important to also reach out to when you are when you're doing recruiting campaigns for to for the young people to know that women are welcomed into the force. Uh the other one uh, part of the femininity question uh we've struggled with that also in the US military of uh everyone has to be it's it's all all gear for example is is uh uh made for a man and they've discovered that women's bodies are made differently obviously and and throughout my years is there's actually been uh improvements to our uniform uh body armor for example body armor has improved because how a male wears body armor is a lot different than a, a how a woman wears body armor as far as as how we're made um but there's there's been improvements to where if you're looking at from uh from head to toe we look like a soldier but there's little differences in our uh uniforms even boot sizes we struggled with boot sizes uh for women women have smaller feet uh when i first got in i remember getting a pair that was way too big uh my first deployment uh but so there has been has been a lot of improvements there too um give it to tamar kismet first of all let me thank you thank you for your wonderful presentation um i am sure that every uh, single speech that is made by strong women here at Ilya State University uh it makes a huge difference so thank you for that my name is Tamara i work with Tamuna Karosaniza as well as for the law school uh, so i have two questions one is personal and one is political now um i was wondering how your military career and how your military educa education went because uh, there are many young students attending attending your uh panel discussion today uh because you said that we don't need to be like men but how did you do that i know that when there are no ceilings sky is the limit but uh, uh what would you achieve if you were um a man and and not a woman um uh, your your accomplishments are very impressive but you did it in the american context and um, and um, i'm i'm sure you will talk about the difference between georgian and american um context and the second question is as i said the second question is political I, i'm sure there are so there are many things that need to need to be fixed in georgian military um uh, georgian se security uh, sector but if you if you were georgian and i wish you were georgian but uh if you were jo georgian where would you start that's a really good question if i was a man where would i i so i've actually been promoted early so i 
I uh, think if I was a man, I probably would be in the exact same spot as I am now, to be honest. I, I, um, I went to the military academy uh, in 1994, and uh, at that time, there was about 12% women. So in all your classes, there was typically one to two women, and the rest were men. And uh, if you look at the military academy today, they're, they're sitting about at 22%. So it's a significant, it's a significant rise. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but the, the, standard, uh, the standard professional military education that I attended was, was the same for a woman and a man. Um, so for me, in my career field, I, uh, I always competed against men. I, you know, it was, um, that's a tough question because I, I think that I, I've always been, uh, you've always been compared and competed against men and I've, I've, my accomplishments are having competed against, against men. So, uh, that one's a little tough for me to answer because I, if I was, if I was just starting out infantry, I might have a different, those, those young infantry officers now we're seeing for the first time, uh, infantry company commanders, <clears throat> they may have a different perspective. Um, the, um, Political on where to start, that's a very good question. I, uh, I think that uh, there absolutely has to be encouragement from the highest level, from the Minister of Defense to the Chief of Defense. You know, at the Ministry of Defense, there are, uh, there's a lot of women. We have, um, if, if, if I go and I see all the, on the civilian side, there are, I think there are 50% women in the Ministry of Defense. So it's very impressive on the civilian side. <coughs> on the civilian control of the military. What's not impressive is if you flip it over and just look at the uniform. As I was telling uh, right before we started, uh, the only women I have honestly seen in uniform have been the ones who I've gone to a uh, meeting with the uh, Chief of Defense, Minister of Defense, any of your Eastern Operational Commander, Western, and they're the ones who served me coffee or, or tea. And uh, for me, that, that hurts as a woman. That hurts because I'm always, always bringing up but if you talk to the Eastern Operational Commander, the Western Operational uh, uh, Commander, if you talk to them, they, they'll tell you that they are working. They're, they're sitting right now at 7.5% women in, in both the Eastern and Western Operational Commands. And they have improved from, I think last year they were at 7%. So they improved this year 0.5%, which is something. Um, and, and that they are actively working. So I think, uh, one, it has to start from the top. So you have to have, you have to have um, the, the Ministry of Defense and the, the General Staff, the Chief of Defense, the, the staff of the Chief of Defense. They have to be able to go out when they're doing their recruiting campaigns. They have to target women. <coughs> if, they're, if they're only targeting, and, and it, Personally, I also think, I know it's a, it's a controversial issue here, but I think it's just minorities in general, not just, not just women. I mean, 20 percent of the population is a minority population. It's something that the U.S. has struggled with as well, minorities, uh, minorities in, in uniform. But uh, a, a service, a military service that looks more like your population is a stronger service. And it also, there's nothing like military service to bring people together. Um, so I, I would think it, one, it has to start from, it almost has to start from the top and it has to start from the bottom. So you have to bring in those young and grow your young and continue and support them to be able to stay in. The, I'll tell you, the hardest thing you're going to do is retain women in the military. Uh, and you're going to have to get over the hurdle of once they start, start getting married and they start ha uh, wanting to have a family, how do you retain them? And if you're not addressing that, you're not talking about that, it's how you end up in a situation like me where I have no peers right now. Uh, and I'm, if you look across Europe, the only defense attaché is a, uh, in, a woman right now is, is in Georgia. Um, and luckily I have an awesome husband who's a stay-at-home husband who takes care of my four-year-old. And who's, uh, when we landed here in Georgia, she, she landed in, she's lived in five countries and she's four years old. Um, and, uh, you know, I have an amazing husband who's supporting me. Otherwise, I don't know how I'd do it. I don't know how I'd take care of her. Um, but uh, to be able to, uh, to talk about family planning and how you do... How, I'm not sure how Georgia does maternity leave. In the U.S., it's terrible. We have no law. We have absolutely zero law to take care of uh, women and to protect women when they have babies. And, I, you know, individual companies do it, but not overall... When I had my baby uh, 
four years ago, I stayed. At, I was home with her for five weeks and then handed her off to my husband and went back to work. And it was tough. I was supposed to get six weeks. They wanted me back at five weeks. And I went. I was talking at a conference at five weeks. Um, so we can still do better, and we're you know we still have that attrition issue with women. Uh, just to add something, um, you have completely um, right to say that actually if you are not addressing half of the population, it's that's very problematic, but women are more than half of the population. So we men are in minority, and so like, uh, uh, some, somehow the roles are a little bit reversed, I suppose. Um, Okay, so I'm going to talk about the first one. I'm going to talk about the first one. I'm going to talk about the first one. I'm going to I don't know if I even know the current talking points on that issue right now. We have, uh, <laughs> honestly, it's changed with our, our current president. Um, when, I, when I first, but I'll tell you, I, I can go back and tell you my experience uh, with. Um, when I first joined the military, we were under a don't ask, don't tell uh, policy. And what that meant was uh, if you were gay, for example, homosexual, you weren't allowed to tell. You weren't allowed to do any, you couldn't hold hands. If, you know, if I was a woman and I had a, I had a girlfriend, I couldn't hold hands. Um, it could, it could be no overt. You were allowed to do it within your, uh, say, your house and shut the door, but you couldn't. Uh, you could not have any form of telling somebody about your homosexuality, for example. And we overturned the don't ask, don't tell policy. And um, I remember when it happened, because I had a father who served. And my father uh, had said, it's going to be the death of the military, Stephanie. It will, it will, you will lose all good order and discipline in the military. It's going to, you know, that's, that's how he grew up. That's how he served his 26 years. And I told him, I was like, no, dad, it won't. It won't. It, there won't be an issue. Because I knew I had already had gays and lesbians serving in my force that weren't telling. And, and everybody knew. You had a don't ask, don't tell policy. It was called D-A-D-T. But, uh, but everybody knew. Uh, even though they didn't tell and you didn't ask, you knew. And it never, it just was not an issue. Um, and uh, when it was overturned, uh, there, we did not have, we did not have an issue across the board. What we did have, though, is they uh, still had what was passed was the Defense of Marriage Act. And what that didn't allow for, so now we were, uh, you know, gays and lesbians were allowed to serve freely in the military, but what wasn't allowed is if they went and got married, the military wasn't allowed to acknowledge that spouse. And we move all around the world. We're not, we're not, many militaries, you know, if you join in Tbilisi, you stay in Tbilisi, and you're very close to your family. The U.S. military, we move, we move very far away from our, our <coughs> from our families. And we also have a very big country, so even if you were to move across the, you know, four-hour flight from the East Coast to the West Coast. And uh, they, we were having a lot of issues where people, you know, they were, getting, uh, they were getting stationed in Italy, for example, or getting stationed in Germany, for example, and <clears throat> the military did not recognize their spouse and they weren't allowed to move. It was causing a lot of problems. And then we finally overturned the Defense of Marriage Act. Uh, the issue right now uh, is whether trans, uh, transgender can serve in the military. That's still uh, right now an issue with our, our current president, so I honestly cannot speak about, about that topic right now. Um, but I'll tell you, overall, the, uh, it's just not a big deal in the military. If somebody finds out, I've, I've got, I, I know gays that serve, I know lesbians that serve. Uh, our climate, our um, our climate in the military, it's, uh, it's, not a, it's not an issue. The, the other issue, though, that we do have is sexual harassment and sexual assault. If you want me to talk about that, that's, that's a completely different issue. Okay. Oh, there's, 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 there's,
Thank you so much for being here today. Um, really appreciate it and learning more from your perspectives. I have a question about um, mandatory conscription and mandatory service in Georgia. And I would love to hear both of your perspectives on what you think the role of mandatory service is. Of course, it's only for men. What you think the role of that service is in shaping the uh, perception in society of military service, whether you think it's beneficial, whether you think it's detrimental, and maybe what you see as the future of um, service. Of course, Hida Shelley made some changes and were rolled back. Um, so there's definitely controversy around that issue, and I would love to hear maybe the access point of view on that um, and kind of what's what your perspective is on that issue. Um, access is positionary, yes. That point of view, access is usual. Tam sakit kse ar mushab, sus shelbe chem pirat shakhe tole bai ghost how that swi sam nistrashi mushab is kamat stile bit. Saval de bolukat oya unda ar sabab de stuara zoga dat kuha na shama de shelbe bai ghost kan swa bolia zra bida me talian bari kan swa bolia zra mamis me niaram kholo sakat tole shi aram de sabar gari tats. Magram is im kat oya vastan da kashire bida dat kuha kustra sakat tole shi mag talian mukari positionaro jobiaro ar kondes. امیت امروز سه وقت بود سام خود را سام سخوری راست درست چون وقت آخری سه روز دیال روی سام خود را سام سخوری از دامیان به ورکاتیان سه تن دو سام خود را سال بس تالیان استوری قطعی نخود شریس پوزیسی چه میاد ریت هت ماشین رو دیال روی دیسی نبرد گانه داد سوشی ده سری او پس مشخصی سه خمص پستیس گانه از خود از خود سه جاره اوت خب بیست داد سوشی ده ایگه به نماشی رقت میزرد تان خاص گانه سکوت را بود سام خود را ممزده بس ورکاتیان آن توی تن از ور ویتار دبیان از دامیان برای قطع آخر اون آرد صد نزد این پریودی فری قبلن تا چون ترقت ها قبض آرمد گنبس فکر می تروه این سه تیا ام مشت بیشتری چون شهر قبول زال بی رده سه تریال ورد فهم دل بیس کامد دل بگانه دل بس هم پدرت کنن فر می وار بره نه رتی مثلا تریال ورد کشور دبارو تا چه تولد رو خاص کاری سیم شهر قبولی زال بی تو کام جواب است بس هم پدرت اول بداریال ورد می هست مثلا دیانه می نبس شش از دبلو به بیرو شی سالن سام خدرا دو کد ساک می ده کان وی تر نن ماشین شیل بات قرار کیه سه چی رو آریسام خدرا کات و آس هوا دبلو مگرام آم پر می تری را قطع ماتی مدت قوی بات است ساکو تری تابیس مدت قوی بات رو از خاکی آری شیر را قبول تلو بیست نه تلو اون دسری چه می ده اکسسیس پولیسیان داره official opinion on whether I think conscription should be uh, uh, for Georgia or, or not. But what I do think is very important is that when you bring conscripts in, uh, always you're thinking about retention. You want to be able to retain. You want a professional force. You want those talented soldiers to stay in the military. And to do that, you have to treat them properly. And you have to, you have to man, train, and equip them properly. So I, I think that's that's the, what needs to be addressed is uh, taking care. You know, it's all about taking care of soldiers. First impressions. If you bring a soldier in and you don't properly take care of that conscript, what would motivate him to stay in the military, and what would motivate him to then support the military when he got out of the military? That's what you need. You need you need a. You need a society that also supports the military as well. Uh, they're the ones who they're the ones who are swearing to protect and defend and die for you. And you want to be able to motivate them to stay in, and you want to motivate them if they do get out, then to uh, support the military. So, uh, the, um, well, I would ask the last question because I think it has gone. Um, so um, the question is, did you have a, a personal role model which happened to be a woman, um, whether in the military or not? For me, I'll tell you, I, I've never had a woman role model. Mm -hmm. It's just not, uh, I, I've been, my dad was in the military. The year my dad retired is the year I went to West Point and joined the military. And I have, uh, I've unfortunately never had a woman role model. That's not something that, uh, even when I was a young platoon leader, you know, leading those 30, there was no women at all in leadership. And uh, I, I had a battalion commander, so two levels up from me as a platoon leader. And uh, you start thinking about, you have an obligation when you, when you graduate, at least I did, they've changed a little bit, it changes almost every year. But uh, when I graduated from West Point, I had an obligation to serve for five years. 
And always, once you're nearing those five years, you start contemplating, uh, should I get out? There's other opportunities. You hear about the great opportunities to make a lot of money with your education, and uh, it's, which is always, you know, oh, money. But uh, I had a battalion commander said, Stephanie, if not you, then who? And it really, really hit home to me that if, if I, as a woman, don't stay in and persevere and persist and to be that good role model and then also then to mentor the young women out there, then who's going to do it? And uh, to be honest, right now, if I had left the military, and what I do, there's, 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 there's virtually no women. And uh, so that, that is my, that's my saying that I say now to, I say the same thing to young women. Like I stole it, that saying, but if not you, then who? Well, um, I'm pretty sure that you are a role model to plenty of young women. Um, Tamara, would you like to also, also say a couple of words about your personal experience with role models? Um, I Stori Ilyas, I'm just born in Russia. What's the context of this? Did you meet Lobam? 